Hey guys. Hey, what's going on? I'm Kyle. And I'm Max. And we are here. It is our first time in New Orleans. Max, it's pronounced New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, right. What do you expect to get out of New Orleans when you're here? I'm not really sure what to expect from the city. I've heard there's amazing food. I'm actually really excited about like live music on street corners, seeing all the architecture that I heard is amazing. I'm really pumped about being on the Mississippi. I think of people dancing, and I think of people partying on Bourbon Street. So I'd like to see some of that, and hopefully I'll be able to keep up, because I'm not a very good dancer. Yeah, but we got to show them in New Orleans that they haven't seen. I don't really know what to expect from New Orleans. Ah, New Orleans, let's go find out. All right. Hi, I'm Bo. Hi, I'm Matt, and we are New Orleans natives. We live in the Bywater neighborhood. We run the blog and Instagram account called Probably This. Bo has always been a really great cook, a home cook, and I've been a bartender, and so I kind of play around with cocktail recipes, and so that's kind of what the blog became. The city screams of romance, from live music on the streets, from bistros you can have a glass of wine at. Really, you can't go wrong. So, this place is amazing. I love your country. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're still in America, Max. So anyway, do you guys know what we're doing today? <laughs> uh, no, we have no idea. Where are you taking us? Uh, I guess you gotta find out. Boy, so, am I dressed appropriately? Do I need to be wearing underpants for this? Hi, my name is Amy Sims, and I'm the owner of Langua in New Orleans. I started Langua about three and a half years ago. It's always been my dream to have a place where people can have fun over Louisiana cuisine, and the dream came true. Hey! Nice to see you! Right. Today we're cooking a gumbo, but not just any gumbo. A gumbo garnished with fried chicken, a little bit of seared collard greens, and a tribute to our German heritage, a Creole mustard potato salad. So we are going to pie culture. Whoa. You ready for that? I'm into that. It's like when we were dating. Yeah, oh, right. <laughs> the guys did well. The local guys had a little bit of an advantage knowing how to make a roux, but Max and Kyle, they hung in there. I'm pretty impressed with their skill, and I think with a little bit more practice, they'll master it. So, we have our roux. We're gonna use their roux for our gumbo. Whose gonna... roux? She's using ours. Oh. Oh. Yeah, she's saving but, ours for later because she's gonna serve it. This is gonna be my dinner tonight. Thank you for <laughs> making my roux. All right, it's time for the blindfolds to come off. You need to see. Oh, thank God. They already put the roux away, so you don't have to see what it looks like. <laughs> Cooking with the chefs, enjoying a glass of wine, is a truly unique dining experience. <laughs> Best vacation ever. <laughs> Ready to eat? Yes. yes. Chef Amy actually was amazing. I, it was such a pleasure to work with her. She was like so smart and funny. I felt really accomplished when we finally got to taste the gumbo. It was delicious. If you want to cook anything in New Orleans, first you make a roux. Are we doing this on three? No, we're just eating. Okay. <laughs> mm. Wow. That's amazing. We did a really great job. I didn't yeah. know I was such a good cook. <laughs> Max and Kyle did a pretty good job. I think we won, but they still did really well. <laughs> we totally, totally got robbed. <laughs> and Chef Amy, will you marry me? Uh-uh. <laughs> but I'll send you on your next challenge. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Oyster shucking is a fun aspect of culinary knowledge. For your next challenge, report to the Bourbon House for a master class in oyster shucking. Hmm. Shuck yeah. <laughs> if this was day one, I cannot wait for the rest of this trip.